So I have decided to help you grow that small account that you have. And this is episode six, by the way. I have done five other episodes. You can go and check them. And you see how we analyze market. And this is a live market. And how patience is key whenever you're analyzing the market. So if you want 150 and 150 pips by tomorrow, you have to pay attention and you have to follow exactly what I will tell you. So this is GBPAUD. I have been following it. I'm doing this episode to show you that setups don't fall from heaven. Setups don't just fall and you start trading them. You have to be very, very intentional. You have to go and do your ho your own homework and then you wait. So um, I don't know which episode was, but we were, we have been waiting for this market to give us a green candle, like a WBB entry. And today with the market closes the way it is, we'll have an entry, guys. So this is GBP AUD. This is GBP AUD. And then we have our neckline. It's a simple, by the way, trade. We have our neckline and then we have our half. So pay attention because here you can get 150 pips if you follow instruction. So you can see the market is almost getting into our half. And you see, it's almost getting into our half. To get to our half is 67 pips. That is number one. And then this candle that we are seeing, by the time you are seeing this video, this candle has not closed. It has not closed because we have nine hours remaining for this candle to close. So this market has not yet closed. So as you watch this video, you have to ask yourself, is it on, right now it's Tuesday. You have to trade on Wednesday at 1 a.m. So if it's not Wednesday at 1 a.m., you can't trade this market. And because if you trade it right now, it has not yet confirmed. So that's number one. So let's put our details here. Possible double bottom. Possible. Double bottom. The reason why I love um, this pattern is because they have stages and zones where you can target. So you're not like confused, oh, where will I take my take profit? Where will I exit? How do I know if the violation has happened? Yeah. So another thing, guys, I keep saying is that I have a mentorship program that I charge $400. And also I have a one day masterclass that will happen on 10th of May. Uh, it will be on a Friday and I'm charging $100. It's $12,000. If you're not in Kenya and you want to follow it virtually, like in online, or you want me to send the recorded version of that day, you just need to pay $100 and you will enjoy. I will be teaching the strategy, BW strategy. I will mention on RBA strategy and I will mention a bit uh, about OPT strategy, okay? So we have now possible double bottom. We have our half. This is our half guy. So we have our double bottom, we have our half. And mind you, why do I really want to trade this double bottom? What is this making me trust this double bottom that it will get to our half break and continue to our neckline is just because it is OPT. This double bottom is not on the weekly time frame. Guys, anytime the double bottom is on the weekly time frame, anytime it's not on the weekly time frame and it's on the daily, be assured to uh, follow that double bottom. So today is, I want you, even if you're watching this video after a very long time, you can go back it is 30th of April. You can still go back and see, did this double bottom really do what you were anticipating? So it may take time, but the double bottom will break half if it breaks half, because if it fail to break half what it will create, it will create a cup and handle. So we are not forcing issues here. It will create something like that. And you know cup and handle, it goes this distance on the bottom. So if it fails to break half, most probably it will create a cap and handle. So if that happens, okay, sellers have won. But if it breaks half, it will continue to go. It will continue to go to the neckline. And also, guys, don't forget that GBP AUD has a long way. That's what I'm saying. This is a long-term trade. You think this is just a one-day trade? This is a long-term trade. It's like the trade for our month of May. So it's like I'm helping you to 
I'm helping you to to uh, to what? I'm helping you to be able to analyze next month trade. So it can go all the way. So you can imagine from where the market is, there are those people who will buy and they will hold. You know, swing traders, they hold. They will get 945 pips on GBPAUD, but us, you're not holding. So what are you supposed to do today at 1 a.m.? Uh, tomorrow at 1 a.m., Wednesday? If you use the WBB strategy, because that's what we use for entry, you will find that the market has broken the box. So we had a green candle, and then we put the green candle like that, and the market has broken the box. So if this is your case at 1 a.m. tomorrow, Wednesday, Wednesday 1st of May, this GBPAUD, we are trading it on 1st of May if this happens. Number one, if it breaks like this. Number two, if you find it, it has not activated. Do you know it can break like this, but the candle has activated. If you find the week, there's a week that has been activated like that, a green week that has been activated, we will wait for the next step. And the next step is, is breaking the half with the body. So there are some situation where Yes, the market has closed like that, but already the half has been activated, has been hit our time. So if you find like this, we are not trading it, okay? If you find this candle has been very small, it's small, it's inside the box, again, we will not trade it because we don't, we want this candle outside the box. So those are some of the things that you're checking. You don't want the candle to be inside the box, you want at least to be outside the box. And again, you don't want this week touching the half because touching the half, it means it has already activated. So if it touches the half, we can only wait for the half to be broken with a body so that we can continue trading. In case you find your can candle broke the half, now our new take profit will be the neckline, guys. So this is what you do. If you find the market like this, you will trade, don't over risk because this market might retrace. You'll go to four hours, guys, and I want everyone to put their sell, uh, their buy order. So this is a trade where you are putting your buy order at 9.1. And we also we can, we can do it at 1.9145. So even I'm showing you because if you have a small account and this market does a retracement, guess what? you are going on a 70 pips drawdown. So our, our buy order will be at 1.9145 as we hope the market will do what? As we hope the market will go up. So guys, this is it guys for you. Um, Be ready to put the buy limit as you wait, but you can do a micro lot like 001, the one that will not get you uh, on a big drawdown because if you do a 001, as it is going down, it will be like 5 to $7 negative, and then it will activate now your order. So GBPAUD, if it closes like that, you have to instruction. Instruction number one is to buy immediately with 001. Don't over risk, but here the 1.9145, that one you can over risk. Okay, guys, I hope that is understandable. All the best, guys. I hope I will update you if the TP has been hit or what will happen in the next one. All the best. Love you so much. Bye-bye.